I lost my mojo. If you find it, let me know. I looked everywhere, under the sofa, behind every crook and crevice in Soho. Across the channel I sailed upon hearing it was internationally mailed. The cost of diesel was cheaper, my outlook only bleaker. I asked around in broken French, was given directions, but they had no idea what I meant. At first glance, it couldn't be found in France. I knew I'd only missed it by a minute or ten, so back on the road I went. I switched things up, but my German wasn't much better. They thought I'd come on this way just to collect a letter. I rode the tram in both directions, the only way it seemed to do some reflection. After so much searching, I needed some calm. I found a nearby forest, but alas, I, I couldn't chill. All I could hear was the sound of cars driving past. I wrote clues in my detective notebook, far from letting it off the hook. All my leads led only to trees that left of my rain-soaked shoes, rain ah! soaked through shoes from rain-drenched leaves. I searched the Belgian coastal town, sporting my newly tattooed frown. All I saw were confused faces when I asked them, where the correct place is. I drove on two lane motorways for what felt like forever and a day, up behind every truck I would scold, inspecting every cargo hold. On and on and on this went. I knew it wouldn't find refuge in Ghent, because like me, it'd be pissed to pay the low emission levy each day. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I stopped in a town called Halley, wondering if it was back home raving in Ali Pali. The Belgian beer didn't help my focus, all I wanted to feel was getting closer. My continental search was almost through. I could hear the homeland calling, it's true. Clearly it escaped to faraway lands, disrupted as ever my perfect plans. Heading home with an empty boot, my mojo somewhere, running aloof. A clear ahead, despite the hangover, success still remained no closer. Thank you so much.